Hi! You want to know how to make your videos smoother? Say no more. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a clip with RSMB and the same clip without RSMB. If you already know how to use After Effects, you can skip to the chapter titled How to Use RSMB Pro. Otherwise, I'll walk you through it step by step. All you need is the program After Effects and the plugin RSMB Pro. You can search up videos on how to get the program and plugin. There are plenty of videos on YouTube. Once you have both the program and plugin, open up After Effects. Start your project with a composition. You can adjust the width and height of your video as well as how long you expect it to be. You can always come back to the composition settings to adjust when needed. Next, you add the contents that you will include in your video. Go to File, Import, and click on your desired file. You can add multiple, but for this particular video, I'm only using one. Then you can drag the file to this section here. You can slide the clip wherever you find most suitable to work with. If the program starts slowing down, lower the quality to quarter. This makes your working process a lot smoother. After you edited your video to your liking, you can either use RSMB Pro now or after you finish rendering your video. I personally like to do it after the video is rendered because it's faster. You apply the RSMB Pro plugin on either the clip itself or an adjustment layer. Go to Layer, then Adjustment Layer. Adjust the layer length as needed and click Control Space over it. Use the search bar to find RSMB Pro. If the current effects aren't to your liking, adjust these settings. I recommend increasing the blur amount to 1 and blur sensitivity to 70. Let your video play through at least once so you can preview it without lag. Press the asterisk key to place markers on areas you feel need adjustment. Once you're done editing, move this blue bar to either end of the part you want to render. Then go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue and click Render. The resulting AVI file is usually a handful of gigabytes, so you might need a large storage space or an MP4 converter. If you use an MP4 converter, the file size will be smaller. This video wraps up the tutorial on how to make your video smoother. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. On that note, thanks for watching!